literally everything else is going up except gold and silver. So, you know, obviously what, you know, that ask, makes people ask what is going on. And, and I've asked that myself too, because they should be going up, right? This is the kind of environment that's really ideal for them. Um, so I've told this story before, but I was at a conference last year and well, actually it was right. Yeah, it was last year, but it was right before COVID hit real bad in the US. And I got the chance to go to dinner with a bunch of hedge fund guys that were there checking out mining stocks at the time. And I got into a conversation with them and then the whole table got involved. And what I learned from that conversation is a lot of them uh, basically said the same thing. Look, we have to dance while the music's playing, meaning they have to remain in the stock market. They have to perform every quarter, uh, just like a company does, right? And that's what's going up was the stock market. And, and then real estate was going up. The crypto market was going up. That's where the action was uh, in their words. And so that's where they had to be. They had to show performance to their clients Gold and silver were not going up. They had a great bounce last year, but then it softened and has been flat to down since. But they're gonna go where the music's playing right now, uh, right or wrong, <laughs> you know, good or bad. That's that's what's happening. And you know, it isn't the retail person who really controls this market. It isn't retail buying. It's gonna be institutional buying and central bank buying and things like that. So. I think, uh, and you know what, and, and that actually tells us when this thing might turn around, right? It's when the stock market uh, becomes weak again and is no longer providing good returns, uh, whether that's a crash or just a, a plain old bear market, right? Uh, when real estate goes soft again and commercial real estate isn't really generating lots of returns. If we go into another recession, if the crypto market craters in some way. so. I think those are the kinds of things that will compel the mainstream investor to come back into our sector. And given the environment, given the setup that we have right now, uh, I think that could be quite a fun day for those of us who are long in gold and silver. Yeah, well, you know, we've been watching this. This is like the equivalent of watching paint dry. Uh, <laughs> you know, when we look, uh, we've never seen money printing at the scale scope, the, the extent of what it is now, trillions and trillions with no, no possible uh, return back to sanity because the deficits are going to be running trillions of dollars for years to come. And we got rates close to zero. So pretty much if you're buying a house, according to our good friend, John Williams, shadow stats, inflation's raging at 14%. You could buy a house with a government subsidized mortgage at 3%. Therefore, you've got a negative 11% real rate of interest on your mortgage. Effectively, you are getting paid to sit with that house and you gotta live someplace. So when you got enticements like that, and then I read a statistic that in the past year, more money went into the stock market than in the past 20 years combined. Yeah. Those types of things. And then you realize that uh, everybody who got money from the government uh, didn't maybe they bought their cars or attempted to but probably couldn't buy them because they're not available new cars very difficult to obtain so instead hey put the money in the market and let it grow uh, i've used this uh, quote so many times from will rogers in invest in inflation it's the only thing going up except <laughs> <for> precious metal <laughs> right. in battery metals copper lithium i mean yeah. you name it uh, oil energy even though they took a slam couple of days ago, uh, all we need is some cold weather and that'll turn around really quick. Nat gas was the darling. It was up uh, over 130%. That's come back and copper hit its all time high. All these uh, commodities blow up and then they pull back, consolidate, and then we're ready for the next run up. I just wonder where uh, gold and silver are going to fit into that whole cycle. Well, in the big picture, we still have the three D's, let's call them debt, deficit spending and dilution, devaluation of the currency. Right. So you have a lot of fake stuff going on out there. You have a lot of bloated investments out there, <clears throat> a lot of bloated markets, fake economy, fake a currency. So I, you know, in the big picture, that tells me I need to be long and remain in gold and silver until that changes. 
Um, in the short term, what I think is going to probably spike their prices and when we do reverse and start the next leg up, and there will be another leg up in gold and silver. History is very clear about this. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. I have bad news for you. If you're not rich by now, you're screwed. And if you're in debt, you're even double screwed. How so, you might wonder. Well, the sad truth is that you're working your whole life to make someone else rich. The mega corporations, the banks, the politicians, everyone is getting richer. They get your money. And what is even worse, they get your time, they get your life. You are not even in a rat race, you're in a financial prison. But what could a solution for you look like? Honestly, I don't know, but I know what a solution for me would look like. It's very simple. I use whatever money I have and I multiply it with 1,000. This could make my life much easier and probably yours as well. If you have $1,000 available and multiply this with 1,000, I believe that this could solve some financial issue for the one or the other. Of course, if you're ugly, you would have to multiply it with much more than 1,000. My name is Marco Stan, and this is what I decided to do. I decided to 1,000x my money. This is not a joke. I know what you may be thinking. You know, what, what, what is this guy talking about? You know, how should this work? This is not possible. Well, I made a detailed video where I laid out my plan. And some clever folks might even want to look at this plan and copy it and do exactly what I do. This is just a little hint on the side. You have two options. You leave, you forget what you have seen. You do whatever you're doing and you hope that somehow you get some other results. Good luck with that. Or you click the link below the video. You enter your email address because I'm not showing this to everybody. You at least watch my video on how I plan to 1000x my money. The choice is yours. Make the right choice. Join me. See what a different future you could have. See at least how I intend, how I plan to do the 1000x. So click on the link below, enter your email address, and I see you on the other side. Your Marco Stan.